So here it is, the receipt for the final night at the marina in Piravats. So first thing tomorrow, we're off. Exciting times, but whew, a little bit nervous, that's for sure. Down by day. Okay, so it's really early this morning and we're just trying to get to Murter before it gets too hot because it's going to be like 38, 39 degrees today. So, nice calm morning. Marina is pretty quiet. So we're going out on Decky Dinger. It's about a 45 minute trip to Bettina and then we'll just walk the extra 20 minutes to get to Murter to get all our stuff for the engine service, like the fuel filter and a couple of extras. We should be leaving in a, potentially a couple of days. Living I guess when we get back, we'll check the mail and see if our registration is in. Croatia. Vacation. We've arrived in Bettina. It's about a 20 minute walk to Murter, the shop that does all the Volvo engine parts. So we're making our way there now. So we've been looking for engine spares to do some service work on our diesel engine. And uh, we tried three different chandleries. And they also we had to come here to Mota because Vol you know, they have to be a specialist Volvo stocker to get the parts I need. So hopefully they're open and hopefully they have what we need. It's our second time trying to get here. So hopefully this time, we're getting there at eight o'clock, they'll be open and we can get the parts and I can finish the service work and tick that off our list. So we can trust our engine when we get out on the big blue. They had a really good selection. It's funny, you come to a proper store and she's just like, yep, 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 yep. The only one thing that looks different from the photo I took was the oil filter. The oil filter that's currently on the boat looked larger, but she pulled up the Volvo schematic of a D130 engine from 2005 and, and she's given me the filter she thinks is correct. So to be seen, check this space. So we're not too sure about fresh figs. I found one that's like, looks way riper than the others, but. Oh yeah, get some more. Mmm. Not bad. I'm a little lazy. <laughs> Not easy for so me. So good. But, uh, Fresh figs. What a day. It's a lovely wee town. I must fly. And uh... successful mission? Yeah, we got everything, didn't we? I think we did. Yeah. We've got a big couple of days ahead of us. We've got to check the post when we get back to the arena. So we've decided to stop off at this fuel station that's near the water so we don't have to bike all the way here later and fill up on fuel. Oh yeah, you got Cheryl to drop me off right in at shore. Got the fuel can, now we're heading off up the hill. That one in number nine, please. Back to the boat. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this engine service. We got the parts this morning on our long dinghy ride. Shirts off, cause it is bailing here. It's almost 40 today, but we have to get the work done. We're leaving, our paperwork's gonna come through. We have to be ready to roll. Let's check out this engine, let's get it started. So, I've got a couple of things to have a look at. We've got a, a fuel filter down the back here, another fuel filter here, water, uh, oh, sorry, oil filter in here. Gonna have a look at the cooling system. I bought another belt, I think that belt's okay, and I have to check the impeller. Let's get started. Just pop the cover on the raw water impeller and it's looking good, which is nice. There he is in there, little rubber guy. One thing I was worried about was the oil filter that I just picked up would be the wrong one. 
but it turns out it is a little shorter, but it looks to be the same size. Hopefully there's no problem with it. She screws on fine and I guess maybe it'll just wear out quicker. The next step on our service is to change the oil. So we're just running the engine now just to heat it up a little bit to make it easier to get out. Oh, it's on there super tight and you can see there's a bit of rust here, so. That's a go. Oh, fuck. Got our new oil. Got our new filter, so the first thing we're going to do is just oil up this O-ring a little bit so it doesn't get stuck on there and provides a better seal. So one of the items on the list that we need to check but never want to use is the bilge pumps. The bilge has always been dry in this boat so I've never used it, used the bilge pumps. I've tested it manually, I mean they, they run, they've got power but I think now we're actually going to get some buckets of water in here and test, test all the bilge pumps and test the manual one in the cockpit to make sure worst case scenario is if we get water in we can get it out. So this automatic float switch is what sets the bilge on. So this one here must be the manual bilge pump from the cockpit. Oh, there it goes. There she blows. So this is manual bilge pump in the cockpit. Little handle plugs in there, so let's see if we can get some water up. No, it's all good. Bilge pumps tested. Keeping on the boat project game. So, all these winches have never been serviced, so we figured it's going to be easier to service them now before they break than later on when we're having trouble. So, here's one I prepared earlier. Yeah, I'll show you original first. This is what, what they sound like before we did anything. So, you sound really dry, and, and here's one that I just serviced. Oh, it's almost stealth. You can hear it's nice and smooth. Oh, that one barely spins. We're ready to get winching. I'll show you how I do it. Okay, there it is, just got the second one back together and I'm stoked with the outcome. They're really not that complicated inside, but you can see they're precision machine parts. I'm not priced on up, but they must be expensive, so I don't want to pay for them. A bit of grease is cheap and put it apart, re-greased it. We actually used a bit of chain lube on the dogs. You know, you don't want to grease it all, but listen to it now, it's like it's brand new. Oh yeah, many more years of work. So we've just crossed another thing off the list. Holy shit. What is that? Is that it? I don't want to open it, I've been waiting so long for it. Got performance anxiety. That must be it. From Yas in Australia. Who gets to open it? <gasps> oh my, this seems very official. There it is. That's it. Oh, shiny and boss. We can leave. We can leave. We did it on our own too. Yeah, yeah. 
So, Jobbo, what are we doing to celebrate our registration certificate com coming through? Well, we're splurging, buying ourselves a pizza for dinner mm. and some local wine. Absolutely. We can't get too crazy because we've still got a lot to do. We've got a lot of planning and making sure that we're ready to go. So, pizza and one glass of wine. Oh, a big glass. <laughs> Maybe two. These little wineries are super cool. Just local wines, they just fill up any bottle. They're cheap, cheerful, and the wine's good. Here's to you, Poseidon. Mechanic Shazza on the case. So they say dirty hands clean money. What are you cleaning there, pal? The winch. Oh, yes. That must be. It's a dirty winch. <laughs> a dirty bum winch. <laughs> dirty bum. And we're going to get some coffee in Murter and check out this place, see what it's like. Got a smudge on the lines there. Oh, Jesus Christ, Gary. Jesus Christ, Duncan. Bloody smudge on the lens. Bloody timey kangaroo down, mate. <laughs> <laughs>